yoga challenge well done to everyone who's participated um, really really good and it's been really really fun to see all your pictures as well on Instagram so last pose is the dreaded headstand so there's lots of different ways you can approach this um, I would recommend have the wall there for security you don't want to fall over and break something but really you shouldn't get used to using the wall at all so I would recommend to actually stay a little bit further away from it and just have it as security but not really using it so coming down and we're gonna make uh, we're gonna clasp the hands together like this first of all measure the elbows sorry that was a step before that measure the width of your elbows so your elbows should be shoulder distance apart and then we're going to clasp the hands together i'm holding only holding the hands up so you can see i'm actually doing this all on the floor so measuring my width of the elbows first clasping the hands together and then i'm going to bring the crown of the head so it should be exactly the top of the head in the middle of this triangle which i've created and then from there tucking the toes under. So this is the first step. Bring the knees down and coming back up. So this is your first step to the headstand. You're already in an inverted position. You already might feel the pressure going into the, the, the blood rushing into the head and all of that. So you're already getting some of the benefits and you're getting used to being inverted. So don't, please don't throw yourself up straight away into a headstand. Do take it slowly, take it in steps. So the next step is gonna to be to walk the feet in. Walking the feet in and then at some point, the hips will be just over the shoulder. So your feet will actually come off the ground. And then you just bring the knees in like so. Coming back down, staying in child's pose for a moment and coming all the way up. So this is step two. This is where you can really work on the core. And I don't know if you notice, there's this tipping point where my hips come over and that's where my feet are actually leaving the ground. So next step from there is obviously going up all the way to headstand. So let's have a go. So walking in, bring the knees in towards the chest. And then if you feel stable, bringing the legs up, just balancing on your head. And then slowly. Coming down with control. 